Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new episode of the series Obsidian Vault Creation. Some months ago I published a video on how to integrate Readwise into Obsidian. And today I want to share a similar tutorial on integrating another good and this time free read later app called Omnivore into our Obsidian Vault. As always, before we start, I remind you that if you subscribe to the Insider membership on my website, mindstoneconsulting.net, you will be able to download the vault you see in this video and all the Obsidian Vault and Node templates I will create in the future directly from my website. And about that, some days ago I published an Obsidian Vault template for content creation. I will leave a brief video demonstration I published on X in the description down below. But now, without further ado, let's get started. So let's start by going to omnivore.app and create an account. Once you have your account, log in and you will land in your inbox. This will be the central hub for all the content you will capture and want to consume at a later time. Now, I also suggest to install the Chrome extension, so you can effortlessly capture the content and send it to Omnivore. Let's try it out. Let's say that I want to capture this blog post. I simply click on the extension, and if I go back to my inbox, I will instantly find the article right here. And if you open it, you can read it in a distraction-free environment. You can highlight text using different colors, and you can add tags and notes to it. But you can also add tags and notes to the entire document. And lastly, once you've finished, you can simply archive it. Now that we have an idea about what Omnivore is, we have to install the Omnivore plugin. So go to Settings, Community Plugin, Browse, and search for Omnivore. Install and Enable. Click on Options. And here you can customize various settings, so feel free to customize it according to your preference. For example, I like to have the sync on startup option enabled and the frequency set to zero since I prefer to control manually when to sync with Omnivore. As repository for our content, we are going to use the read later folder. Additionally, for attachments, we can establish a subfolder named attachments within the read later folder. You can decide the file name and the file name date format. I like to use the title of the content I captured as title of the note, so I leave it as it is. Now, the two most important sections to customize are the front matter and the article template sections. Let's start from the front matter. In this section, you can include various metadata. Keep in mind that title, author, tags, date saved, and date published are the default metadata. Also, the ID metadata will always be included for the purpose of the duplication. You just need to add the ones you want in here, separated by commas. However, if you scroll down under the advanced settings, you can use a custom front matter template. For example, it can look something simple like this. Now, in this section here, you can structure the template that will be used to render the article you capture. I like to keep it clean and simple. I will leave the link to the documentation where you can find all the variables you can use to customize your templates in the description down below. Lastly, by enabling the Render Highlight Color option, you can render highlights with the color used in the Omnivore app. Now that we finished to set the plugin, the last and most important thing to do is to enter your Omnivore API key. Click on this link here. Create an API key, give it a name, and click on Generate. Copy it, and paste it in here. Now, open the command palette with command P or control P and search for Omnivore Sync New Changes. And as you can see, a new node has been created inside the read later folder. 
and it has the same title of the blog post we captured. If you open it, you will see the metadata we inserted inside the front matter template and the note structure with our highlights and notes. And that's a wrap. Now you can easily sync articles, highlights and notes to your Obsidian Vault. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you already tried Omnivore or if you use other read later apps. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.